fam, what is up? It's me, Kayla, and welcome to my channel. You guys, today we are going to be going through this bag right here, and I literally bought this in like third grade, I think. It is tie-dye with a heart-shaped peace sign, so it's like extra fancy. It barely closes right anymore, like it's seen better days. But basically, you guys, the other day I was cleaning out the underneath part of my steps because there's a little storage unit in there, which is super cool. And so I found quite a few things that intrigued me, and this was one of them. I'm not gonna lie, I have not gone through the things inside yet. However, I did just peek a little bit and I saw a Webkin's head. So <laughs> that's the only thing that I'm aware of that is inside, but I'm going to be going through the rest of the stuff with you guys today. Without further ado, we are going to just deep dive into this thing. Let's get started. I'm definitely kind of nervous because I hope there's nothing like incredibly embarrassing in here. I'm literally just gonna reach in and pull things out. So, all right, this is the first thing. Wait, what is, what is going on? <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, it's an old friend. No, for real guys. Okay, so, ah, wait, let me just explain this. So, Okay, this is actually pretty inventive. Uh, basically, I used to be obsessed with the movie Coraline. I'm still obsessed with that movie, but whenever I was younger, I was like extra obsessed because that was like my first scary movie I had ever seen. And I just thought the whole concept was really cool. So I took it upon myself to make my own Coraline doll. This thing is literally made out of socks. Like the body is made out of a sock, the arms are made out of socks. And then of course the head is too. Oh my gosh, and then I glued blue string for Coraline's hair, and then the button eyes. Oh my gosh. This is actually, this is cool. I wanted nothing more than a Coraline doll. In fact, I remember that year I was gonna be Coraline for Halloween, but then I never did it because I couldn't find a blue wig. But, okay, so this was the first thing, and honestly, we're off to a pretty good start. That just brought back so many memories. Comment below if you love the movie Coraline 2. And if you've never seen it, you gotta see it, girl. There's so many different plot twists and it's just interesting. But okay, then this purple thing was attached to Coraline's hair, if you didn't notice. Um, and actually, this was a little scarf maker. So I think I got into that in third grade, maybe fourth grade. It was like third or fourth grade. I had a million different types of yarn. I got this little scarf maker at, I think, Joanne Fabrics, and I would make scarves for hours and I'd give them to people. And I'm pretty sure I had the entire neighborhood making scarves, like all my neighborhood friends. Everyone had one of these. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's reach in again, shall we? What is this? Oh, I guess, let's see, wait. Squishy of the day. Okay, so this was another little creation of mine. Ew, what is that stain on the back? I don't know why I had to smell it, like as if it was gonna have a smell. So I used to collect these little squishy pencil toppers and there's actually some in here. Ew, this looks like it's seen better days. So we have this clam, look at it. It's like, I don't know if that's like mold. I think it's mold, that's so gross. But this was one of the rare clams and I was obsessed with the rare clams because basically how you could tell if the clam was rare would be if it would have a purple face like this one. And I love them because I would like to see the different shades of purple of each rare because they were all different and their eyes would always look slightly different. And I would literally name all of them and pretend like they all had different interests. Yeah, I was interesting. So we have the clam, we have, Aw, we have this little rare teddy bear. Oh, he still smells so good. I love the smell of squishies. It smells all rubbery and new. And then we have a rare elephant. So all of these were rares. They, I mean, for the most part are pretty beaten down, but that's pretty cool. Little squishy of the day pouch. All right, next up. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh my gosh, I actually remember when I made this. I remember making this at my friend Steven's birthday party. This was years ago. And um, 
yeah, we all put together these little like, I guess it, it was for pictures. So this says my favorite pictures and I spelled pictures P-I-C-H-S-E-R-S, -E pictures. <laughs> That's funny. So let's open it up. I wonder if I actually put pictures in it. Oh my gosh, I did. <gasps> okay, so I'm going to show them to you guys. First, we have this one right here. And it is a picture of me with my cat, little cat. That's literally what its name was. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So then we have, I'll just hold it up. We have this one right here and it's a picture of me and my cousin, Caitlin. I think it was her birthday. Yeah, it was her birthday. And then, oh my gosh, the top one is definitely my favorite. So before Lucky, I actually had a bird named Bucky. And it's so ironic that their names rhyme like Lucky and Bucky, <laughs> but this was Bucky and that's me. Oh, I miss Bucky so much. He was the coolest bird ever. I actually used to push him around in my little doll strollers and I'd put him in all the little cars that my brother had. He had a very eventful life. Okay, well that's actually kind of cool. I'm gonna put this little picture back in there. Okay, time to reach in again. What mysterious thing will we find next? Oh my gosh. I just had such a nostalgic rush. Oh my gosh. I remember, I'm pretty sure my grandma got this for me and I used to fill out these pages with my best friends. Um, I'll see if there's anything interesting in here. <gasps> Wait, this is crazy. Okay, so on the front page it says, my name is Kayla, I am eight years old, I am in the third grade. I received this book from grandma. I started writing in it December 21st, 2007. Okay, so I was right. This bag is from around third grade. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, this says my favorites. I'm going to read you guys some of my favorite things from when I was, did I say I was eight? I already forget. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, I was eight. Okay. So when I was eight, my favorite hobby was dancing. My favorite color was blue. My favorite animal was a bird. And hey, it's still a bird actually. Uh, recess activity, talking. I never actually played during recess. I would always talk to my friends or talk to the lunch lady because I was a teacher's pet. <laughs> this is kind of funny. So one of the uh, categories was singer and you were supposed to put your favorite singer and I put yes. Singer, yes. Um, TV show, full house, candy, butterfingers, yucky foods. Oh, let's see what I didn't like. Salad, hot dogs, and I put, I just hate meat. Um, Worst school lunch, PB&J. I'm surprised I put PB&J. Songs. Oh, okay, this should be interesting. My favorite songs were, <laughs> I put, I literally put Tiki Aliki Maka. <laughs> I meant that one Christmas song where it's like, Melik Aliki Maka is the thing to say. I thought it said Tiki Aliki Maka. You should see the spelling of that. Oh, girl. Uh, my favorite things from The Sound of Music and then Haul Out the Holly. Haul out the holly. That is so fun. So that's super cute. I'm gonna see if there's anything else interesting in this book. Oh, okay. This page was folded down. So let's see why. Oh, okay. So this was something you would fill out with your best friend, I guess. Oh, okay. This is interesting. So one of the fill in the blanks was if I were president, the first law I would make would be, and I put no shots and no teachers are allowed to yell. <laughs> So you could tell what things I didn't like back then. I didn't like getting a shot and I also didn't like when teachers would yell. This is so cute. If I could eat one food every day, it would be mashed potatoes and corn. Oh my gosh. And then the bottom, it says, if I could be a grown up for a day, I would steal my friend Jamie from her mom. I could literally look through these all day. Okay, I'm not gonna read this part. So throughout this book, there were a lot of Mad Libs where basically, you know, it would tell a story and you'd have to fill in the blank with either like an adjective or a place or a name or something like that. And when me and my friends would fill them out, we would always use like, we'll say potty language, potty talk. Yeah, that's uh, pretty sad, but we thought it was funny. Like one of the fill in the blanks that we did was literally poop and we were in third grade. Like why? All right, next, 
Oh, two in one. Oh, these bring back so many memories. So we have two little Webkins here. And I specifically remember when I got this little lion. I remember I was at the food store with my dad and I had my eye on it like the whole time because when I was little, I pretty much had every Webkin ever. Like it was my mission in life to collect every single one. They were like the thing to have. And I remember seeing this in the grocery store and I pretty much begged my dad for it the entire time and I think he acted like he wasn't going to get it for me and then when we got in the car he like pulled it out of a bag and I was like I was like shook to the core so I remember naming him Leo the lion and then we have this adorable little black bear and I think this one was my brother's I don't remember having him so I don't remember what his name was um but he's super adorable too and I think this was one of the smaller webkins because they had the regular sized ones and then the little ones. I forgot all about that until now. Oh my gosh. Does anybody else remember having a Webkinz obsession and going to like the Hallmark store to get them? Oh my gosh. I remember the little ones were $15 and the big ones were like 30. Okay. Anyway, we're going to reach in again and oh my goodness. Again, a hundred thousand memories just came rushing back to the surface. So this was my little K purse. There's a little story time. My very first collection was like little shiny things. If I would ever find a pretty piece of confetti or like a little plastic diamond or just anything shiny and pretty, I would put it in here. I highly doubt that I still have that stuff inside. Yeah, no. Um, I've had this for years and years, but inside we have a random gumball machine earring because those are super cool. <laughs> but if you thought that was cool, it's about to get cooler. I had literal banana earrings and I'm surprised I have a match to that. We have this little jaggy ball earring. I used to love those. I thought I was like the bomb.com when I wore them. So yeah, we just got a couple random pairs of earrings in there and most of them don't have a match. So that's kind of sad, but all right, that's what was inside of there. And I think there's a few more things. I feel like this is like show and tell or something. Oh, oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> my strawberry shortcake hats. I, you guys, I was obsessed with strawberry shortcake until I was in probably fourth grade. I loved it so much. I had all the dolls and apparently I had a hat too. I think my head grew a little bit. It didn't grow that much. I just, I have my hair in a bun, so it, I just can't wear it right now. But anyway, yeah, so that's pretty snazzy. All right, we have a few more things. Oh my gosh, I knew I felt a pocket back. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So guys, we have this fresh picked blueberries pocket back in here, and I wanna see if it still smells good. Ooh, okay, for some reason, this smells like it's brand new and I didn't even think it would smell good at all because this is from 2011 and it's 2021. So this is literally like over a decade old at this point. I think it still smells so good because this bag was kept in such a cool, dark place and these stay good longer whenever they are in like a cool, dry, dark place. So that's actually so cool. I'm gonna use a little bit. I feel so nostalgic. All right, so. There's still a few more things, which I am shook to the core by. What is, oh my gosh, you guys, this was my very first phone. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, no way. Look at the case, it's so groovy. Oh, wow. I actually can't believe that we saved this. I wish it would turn on because I would love to see the pictures that I took with this thing, but I can't even tell you how cool I would feel whenever I would like slide up and text. Like, I still kind of feel cool doing that. Like, let me text her back. There's two more things in here. Oh my gosh, Kids Bop, Kids Bop 10. I want to know what songs are on here. Oh, I wish I had a CD player. I'm sure it would bring back so many memories. But yeah, if you were also a Kids Bop kid, then let me know in the comments below. Is Kids Bop still a thing?
I don't know. My cousin got me hooked on Kids Bop though. I remember when it first came out, it was actually like really, really cool and everybody loved it. But yeah, I don't even know if it's around anymore. There's one more thing in this bag and oh my goodness, it is a Junie B. Jones book. Now I loved this series. Honestly, I would totally recommend these books. Like they were so easy to read. They were little chapter books and I'm pretty sure I had every single one. This was Junie B. Jones and her big fat mouth. I always felt like I could relate to Junie B. Jones so much. I remember thinking she was really cool and rebellious. All right, I'm just gonna make sure there's literally nothing else in here. Oh wait, there's literally, <laughs> he was just chilling in here. Oh my gosh. So I actually remember these little stuffed animals. You could get them from like gumball machines. And I think they were maybe 50 cents or 75 cents. Me and my brother were obsessed with them. And we would always want to save them from the gumball machine. And I remember we'd always make them comfy little beds. Look how stained the inside of this is. There's like marks all over it. Ew. So gross. Yeah, but that's that's officially everything that was inside. But anyways, you guys, that was all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And let me know if you would like me to do more videos like this in the future. I've got all kinds of mystery bags to unravel. And by the way, the question of the day is, what was your favorite thing to play with as a kid growing up? But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you again for watching. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.